Hi, in this video today, I'm going to be breaking down a little bit more point by point what happens in a visual field as someone who's had a stroke, who loses vision, starts to recover it. Before I go into that, let's talk about how you can connect with us. If you're local, call us at 618-288-1489. If you're not local, that's okay. Go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com. You can read all kinds of stories. You can, um, success stories. You can read about what we do there. You can take a quiz and you can also schedule a consultation. All right, so now let's break down and look at a point by point type of analysis of how a visual field might change for someone after they've had a stroke, lost their vision, like a homonymous hemianopsia, which would be what that means is, is here's the right eye, the person may lose their right visual field or the left visual field. And depending on what they lost over here, it's going to be the same for the left eye. If they lose the right, they'll lose the right. If they lose the left, they lose the left for each eye. So in October of last year, this individual's visual field presented like this for the right eye and then for the left eye. This area here and here is the area of visual field loss. If I go over to the corresponding graph right next to it right here, this one has some numbers associated with it. And those numbers tell us how sensitive that individual was to seeing a certain stimulus for this test. Now on the retest, which occurred just in March, so the very, very end of March this year, so here we are a couple of months down the road, um, took them a while before they actually started working with us for therapy. And so she is only about two months into her uh, phase one therapy program. Is it even that? It might not even be that long. It might be more like around five to six weeks. But she's had a visual field repeated and she has some positive changes already. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the right eye um, back then and the right eye now. If you take a really fast glance at this, this was before and this is more recent in March. When you look at that, you might say like, there's not any change. Well, you have to dig into it a little bit further. And so what we do is a point by point analysis to look and see where have things indeed changed. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So point by point, I would come to this chart right here and I would start to look at the numbers down in this section where the visual field loss occurred. And then I compare the numbers here on the same section or same area, but point by point for this new visual field. And as an example, this spot right here measures 32 and 32 on both the old one and the new one. Okay, that's about the same. That's normal vision in that one spot but let's look right below it on the old test. Right below it, the number is zero. That means there's no sensitivity. The brain and the eyes don't register seeing anything at all. But if we go to the new one, underneath that 32 is a seven, which means that now her brain is starting to register seeing something a little bit below that normal opening. Let's go one stop one step further. So let's kind of look down at another point on this visual field. So over here on this visual field, the corresponding number is a five. If we go down to this one and look in that same area, and then we go over here and look at that graph and say, what does that graph say? Well, before it was a five on this little spot right over here. Now when we come down to this one, the number registers a 19. The higher the number and the closer it gets to 26, 27 is considered to be normal vision. So somewhere between a 27 and about a 33 to 34 decibel um, reading is going to be considered normal. So that's the right eye. Let's look and see if we have anything to report on the left eye. So again, at first blush, we might look at that and go like, nothing's wrong, nothing's different. It all looks the same. I shouldn't say nothing wrong, but nothing's different. And if we look at it point by point, we get a little bit further information. Let's look at the left eye. This is the left, old one, new one. And again, first glance, 
first blush, we might say like, looks the same. Okay, but there's a couple changes. First of all, this visual field loss here that existed before back in October, do we see it down here? No, it's gone. That's completely normalized. Does this spot correspond to this spot? Pretty close. Um, so there up at the top when it was in October, the number was 30 on this little graph over here. The number now is 31, a little bit better sensitivity. If we look over here to the side, um, did we have anything here at all last time? No, we do have a smidge of something here. It's registering a one, little bit of sensitivity. Okay, not a whole lot of a change there because a one is pretty close to zero. But let's go down and look at this little spot here. Numbers on the chart over here correspond to 10 and seven the last time. And what do they say and tell us about this time? Well, these numbers say 19 and 19. So there's a little opening of normal vision occurring at the bottom here where there was a mild sensitivity before, mild being 10 and seven, means the brain registers seeing a pretty bright stimulus. And now the higher the number goes, that means the lower the level of light the stimulus is shown to you. So as an example, a um, high level bright light will be something that someone, if someone is flashed that and they only can see that, the sensitivity reading is going to be somewhere around like maybe five, seven, three, two, one. It's gonna be fairly low. The more dim that they can send you a signal and you pick it up, the higher the number on the decibel chart will be. So you'll register something like 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. So we want that higher number because that means the brain is recognizing a smaller, lighter, um, more dim stimulus that you're able to see, which is representing more normalized vision. So if we, again, glance at these real quick like and do a cursory look, we would say, not much is changing. But if we go back and we do a point by point analysis, there's some things that are changing within just a couple of weeks of this patient starting our therapy program. Now, this is about a 14 to 16 month program for someone who's had a stroke and lost their vision and has either a right sided or left sided homonymous hemianopsia. So it's not something that's like a really fast program. But for the first three months, we're just electrically stimulating the brain to increase blood flow and also kind of neurons being able to fire or nerve activity being able to take place in the brain better where the area of the stroke kind of shuts stuff down. And then after three months of electrically stimulating the brain, now we're gonna to continue to do that, but we're also going to add some hands-on components to kind of trigger more like the muscle memory of the brain to be able to see again. So it takes the electrical stimulation first for a couple of months to switch things back on, if you will. And then it takes the kind of hands-on stimulation in the second phase of treatment Putting those two things together it what is what packs a powerful punch. Now, after just a couple of weeks of her being in our phase one program, I can't wait to see what happens for her in the next three to four months. And then subsequently, every three to four months after that, we'll be retesting her. I'm pretty sure she's definitely going to be one of those patients that we'll be talking to you about soon. So stay tuned maybe so you can see some further updates on her. If you haven't done so already, make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. And if you feel like this is beneficial, you know someone who's had a stroke, lost their vision, please pass it on. Lastly, if you're the patient or maybe you're the, you know, I don't know, significant other or the parent of a patient who's had a stroke and lost vision, you've got an action plan um, step that you kind of need to take. One, you definitely need to contact us if you're local, 618-288-1489, or if you're not local, go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com. There's all kinds of success stories. We have an entire page on our website devoted to stroke and vision loss recovery, so you can read all kinds of information, see many success stories. We go into lots of in-depth detail, but your action call, really schedule a consultation. Thank you.